day. So. Big bite of cumin in that rice. Ooh. Oof. Ah, oh, we love cumin. Such a beautiful day to explore, to be outside, and to do an adventure to Staten Island. For one reason. That reason? To eat Sri Lankan food. And we went to Sri Lanka back in 2017, had an incredible time. Wow, is crazy. So we were only there for about a week. We loved it. We loved the food so much. So we wanted to come back here. And fun fact, this is actually the first place that we had Sri Lankan food ever, about five years ago. We went to this restaurant called San Rasa that has since closed. But we're back for more and we're gonna hit up three spots today. Caught our five borough pizza video. We came to Staten Island. We did shout out one of the reasons to come out here is for Sri Lankan food. It is the largest Sri Lankan community in New York City right here. So this is the place to be for the Sri Lankan food. So check us out. We're gonna eat a lot of delicious stuff today. First stop of the day. It's a Gata restaurant here on Victory Boulevard, Staten Island. We're so hungry, we're so ready to go here. Let's see what they got. We got one mutton lamprey and uh, two masala tea, please. This is masala tea. Can't stop smelling it. The aroma is just unbelievably good. What do you smell? Cardamom. Oh, yeah. Cardamom. We love cardamom. Wow, so it's nice. This is creamy. It has that milk. You can taste the cardamom and you can really taste the tea. And there's much more spice in there, but ooh, that cardamom comes out right away. Oh, this is excellent. This is perfect. We haven't had our morning coffee. It's like 3 in the afternoon. So what better way to start off? Some masala chai. Yes. Our lamp has arrived. It's wrapped in banana leaf. We love things wrapped in banana leaf. It's always a little surprise inside. So let's let's unfold and see what we got here. So we got the lamprey here. We have this beautiful. I love the way it's arranged. It's all on top of rice. You can barely see the rice because it's so coated. So we have eggplant here. We have cashews. We have the mutton curry. It looks like onions. We have eggs. Egg. And we have fish cutlet, it's like a fish fritter. So ooh, look at all this together, it's amazing. How much is combined in this banana leaf? I kind of love eating my hands, so something we love to do. We're gonna do it, this is the type of dish to do it with. Let's go. If you want your hands is even better. This, this is the way to go here. The rice below is yellow. Looks like it's probably coated in turmeric. This onion here. Mm. Huge kick of cardamom there, wow. There's a caramelized consistency. Oh, it's so good. These fritters. Yep, fish cutlet. Very smooth consistency inside. Not too crispy on the outside. It's, it's a really nice little fritter here. It goes well, the different kind of texture to go with the rest of this. Mm, eggplant. Mm. The eggplant's got sweetness to it. It's a little crispy on the outside too. It's really nice. It has that also caramelized texture. I love how Two of these to have a caramelized taste to it. Mm. And here's the mutton. It's got the taste. It's got the perfect level of the mutton flavor, where it's not gamey and it's not like you don't taste the mutton at all. There's a strong mutton taste. You just really taste the meat. It's not overly spiced at all, no. which is nice. Because you know what? Everything else is so boldly flavored. The rice is boldly flavored. The veggies. You let the meat speak for itself, which is nice. I appreciate that. Let's move to mix it all up together. So, we're ready for our second stop of the day. It's a classic place, it's been written up many a times. There's a well-known spot here called New Asha. 
So we are actually now in the epicenter of the Sri Lanka community here at Staten Island. It really is little Sri Lanka. There's Sri Lankan grocery stores. There's a lot of Ceylon uh, restaurants. It's it's truly the epicenter of Sri Lanka in uh, New York. Let's eat. Stop too. Okay, guys. So one chicken kotu and uh, one order of rice with uh, fish. Yeah, fish and. Uh... Everything else. Okay, everything. Oh yeah, extra jackfruit. Yeah, extra jackfruit. Oh, yeah. Okay, now you want any appetizer or you want to go straight to your plate? Oh, we gotta go straight to plate. Straight to plate. <laughs> I give you some string up a soup. Plus, because you eat that, you couldn't finish eating your plate. <laughs> so wait, let me get the kotu roti first. After yeah. that, I give you the rice plate. Yes. Perfect. So he's making it. Okay. okay. Stop your kapuri. Oh, she's so nice. Oh, she's really sweet. It's one of these places that you know right away when you come in as a special spot. So, we ordered a few things, we're waiting for that, but in the meantime, we got ourselves a passion fruit drink. She suggested it, so of course we took her up on it. It's really refreshing, got a little tang to it, but I also got some seltzer. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. I think it's gonna taste good. Yes. All right, I give you, I'm gonna give you one by one, okay? okay. So that's your kotu. That's your little gravy I gave you. Oh, looks great. Okay. So look at him like a robot. Oh, he's looking at homes. A lot of people are ordering it. We had it in Sri Lanka, we loved it. It's the kotu roti. So it's the strips of roti chopped up. We heard them chopping it in the back actually. Mm. Excellent texture, that chopped up roti. Wow, it's so chewy. We have the piece of chicken, egg. So we have a few vegetables, like there's scallion, scallion. carrots, Onion. onions. Vegetables. Just taste a little fennel seed in there too just now. We also have this bowl of curry. It smells incredible. We put a little on there. Mix that up with one hands again. That's what we're doing today. We're seeing one our hands. Mm. Yeah, that curry adds some nice heat to it. Mm. Adds a lot of flavor. Tastes a little clove in there, some cinnamon. Ooh, it adds that spicy kick. It takes it to a whole nother level here, folks. We have three different types of veggies. Four if we count these onions, but we have dal. We eat this pretty much every day we are in Sri Lanka. We love it. It's the split pea, the lentil is so good. We have this here. This is a chopped up leeks and potato. This looks very interesting. Looks like there's maybe some curry seeds in there too. And then we got a lot of this. We asked for extra. It's jackfruit. Ooh, this jackfruit looks yes. We love so jackfruit in pretty much all types. Savory, sweet. Oh, this one just looks incredible. We're very excited. And we got a fish curry. It's a big piece of kingfish. It's a very meaty fish. I'm touching it now. It's, it's very hard to break it. It feels almost like swordfish. And then we got mutton curry on the side. We can't get enough mutton, lamb, goat. We, we love any of those meats. We just had to get it on the side. We got string hoppers, wrapped up noodles. They're so cool how they form. You put something inside, you wrap it up, and you just munch it. And we have some uh, egg roti here. Oh, it's egg embedded into the roti. And then we got lots of coconut sambal on the side. All right, we're excited. I think I'm going for the jackfruit first. Oh my god. Get that coffee in here. There's that earthy, strong, smoky coffee flavor. Wow. Fruit. It's like young jackfruit, so it's, it's firmer, not ripe. It's, it's a lot like the texture of uh, Gura, Indonesian style jackfruit. Mm. Let's try the leeks. Mm. It's very creamy coconut curry. Mm. Very tasty. Outside. How yellow that is. Mm. Mm. You can really taste the turmeric in it. Mm. It does so good. To try this fish curry. Mm. So firm. Absorbs a lot of curry quite nicely. There's a whole chunk of cinnamon clove right here from that fish. Mm. It's mutton time. Try the mutton. Oh. I can already smell a lot of fennel here. Take a piece of this egg roti. I'm gonna put a little mutton in there. And a little coconut sambal too. 
make a little wrap. But it seems like in terms of like, you only have a piece of crab, or a piece of small leg, you can keep it. Okay, very good. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Very good curry <laughs> I believe it. Ooh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She is so sweet. She asked if we want some crab curry. We have so much eating to do, so we're like, eh, maybe just a little sauce. And she's like, no, I'll have a like. I'm like, of course, we can't say no. So let me scoop a lot of this goodness off. It's a much lighter curry. This one isn't very thick. It's more liquidy. It's really nice. You do really do taste the crab embedded in that curry. Even without eating the piece of crab. It's just been, crab's been soaking in this curry probably for hours. Successful second stop. Really was. She is such a sweet lady. Uh, she's like a fixture in that community. She knows everybody. She kept calling us by our first names. It's like quickly after she met us. She's really sweet. The food is excellent. It's just a, it's a place that we knew right away was going to be special, and it was. It was awesome. Trying to explore a little bit before our last stop of the night. We need to clear out a little bit more room, so we just ate a lot right now, and we have leftovers. So let's do this. We thought we, thought we could do it, but yeah, we have to save some space. We have plenty of nice leftovers, so let's go. Growing up in New York, Wu-Tang is a big part of my childhood. In fact, Wu-Tang is always the first thing I affiliate with Staten Island. So, the documentary just came out, four parts, it's incredible. If you're a big hip-hop Wu-Tang fan, definitely check it out. They changed history here. This is, they have a whole mural here, and they even have a street named after. It's the Wu-Tang Clan District officially that is dedicated about a month ago. It's amazing, like, I, I've been hooked on Listen to the old music again after watch the documentary. It's one of my favorite groups of all time. Incredible. Before we go to our third stop, I'm gonna show you some cool stuff. We're right here, uh, right next to Stapleton. We're right by the water. It's a beautiful view. I've never been here before. So you have a view of three awesome things here. So you go this way. You got the World Trade Center, the yep. city in New York City view. Yep, you got the Lower Manhattan, uh, Freedom Tower. You got this naval ship behind us as well. Ta-da! <laughs> yep, you yep. get this naval ship right there. And then, we get the Verrazano Bridge. Yep, the Verrazano Bridge, the iconic bridge, the longest one in New York City, the most expensive. I believe it's like 13 bucks if you're out of state, so oof. But it's only one way. It's iconic, it's the longest, and for anybody who's a Saturday Night Fever fan, that old school classic movie, that's the bridge that is in there. Bay Ridge is right across the harbor over here in Brooklyn. The restaurant we're about to go to, La Caruana, this museum is actually owned by him. The inspiration for it is by his daughter. It's very cool and it makes perfect sense. If Staten Island has the largest Sri Lankan community, why not have a museum, a cultural center? It's a great idea. Really, really cool. It's closed. They're open until 5 p.m. It's a non-profit museum organization, Cultural Heritage of Sri Lanka. Incorporation. Yeah, and it's just blocks from the restaurant. It's very ornately designed, just like the restaurant is. So it, it definitely you could see the influence from the two. And if you are gonna come out and check out and do your own Staten Island crawl, come and check this out. Open till five. We're now in Stapleton, Staten Island. We're at our third and final stop of the day for our Sri Lankan food tour. It's actually the first Sri Lankan restaurant in Staten Island back to 1990. It's called La Caruana. Uh, La Caruana, uh, on the weekends, La Caruana has a all-you-can-eat buffet, which is kind of crazy to even talk about after all the food we just eaten today. This place is so beautiful. We are at La Caruana. It looks absolutely beautiful here. It's like, it's almost like a museum. It's like, it's unbelievable. And it's, it makes sense, given that we just saw that cultural center nearby that's affiliated. So we got ourselves some Ceylon tea, of course, and they have it in this cool little elephant teapot. 
and the elephant cups. So when you pour it, you pour it from the elephant teapots, elephant cups. So the buffet here looks it's incredible. It reminds us a lot of this spot we went to in Unawatuna, Sri Lanka, a couple years ago. They have these cool little bowls shaped like this where all the food is. So what do we get? What didn't we get? So we got deviled chicken. We got black pork curry. We got dal, pineapple curry, veggie curry, egg curry. A lot of curries here. Kale with coconut. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, we have cassava, yuca curry, coconut sambo, hot sauce. Yeah, we got that eggplant, the egg curry, and then we got the papadum. And the papadum has all these cumin seeds. And as I look at all this, I see cumin seeds studded everywhere. I'm very excited for this. Whew. You know, I ate all this, I'm hungry all over again. <laughs> Start first. I think we're gonna go with this black pork curry. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. This is crazy. He's got a lot of cumin, a lot of cardamom. Oh my god. It's so juicy, very meaty. Our favorite spice is all over again. Now you see why we love Sri Lanka food, right? Why we can eat three meals of it today. Mmm. <laughs> Wow, that's really good. You got some too, I see. Mm. Almost like a Sri Lankan kind of uh, chicken wing. Pineapple curry. This sounds very interesting. It smells good. Mmm. Well, that's nice. So it's got that sweetness of the pineapple. A little savory cake. Ooh, cumin seeds again. Mm. They're bad a thousand with the cumin seeds here. So the doll we had earlier was more of the creamy puree doll. This is whole doll right here. Mmm. Oh. oh my god. This reminds me so much of the stuff we had in Sri Lanka. Wow. <laughs> what an amazing day! Perfect day. Great day. Successful day. Yeah, we hit up. Three spots today for Sri Lankan food. Amazing. We had a great diversity of cuisines. Every spot was special in its own way for our train back to catch this ferry. So we hope you enjoy this video. Come check out Staten Island. It needs some love. It's a New York borough. But there's some cool stuff to see here. It's like the Sri Lankan community. Sri Lankan dish is really, really good. They're very, very tasty, flavorful. I hope you love curry because curry is oh yeah. Cardamom. Clove, cumin, cinnamon, cumin. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please smash that like button for us. Subscribe, hit the bell. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes, you do. Thanks for watching. Peace. Pour this. <laughs> Gonna explore this a little while longer, burn off a little more calories, and then we're gonna feast for dinner. No, burn off a little more food, not calories, because I don't think we're burning calories here. I think we're gaining calories here, but don't count the calories. Just eat. <laughs>